Hi everyone! Today I want to introduce the latest flight controllers for FPV quads from Afro Sky Company. Three boards at a time. XSR F3PO, XSR F4O and XSR F4PO. As it is clear from the names, all have integrated Afro Sky XSR telemetry receiver. And the last two are based on the most popular now F4 processor instead of the F3 on the first board. The names not only tell us about the integrated receiver and processor version, but also have O and P letters that represent integrated Betaflight OSD and integrated PDB. So we have three controllers with XSI receiver here on the bench today. F3PO, F4PO and F4O. Actually, the first one, which is XSR F3O, was reviewed a week ago. You can find the link to review in the description to this video. All of our Sky flight controllers come in small boxes together with English user manual and set of soldering pins. In case of PO boards, which have integrated PDB, our Sky also provides XT60 connector and special dampening rubber spacers. All controllers share almost the same functionality, but there are some significant differences. As you already understood, PO stands for Integrated PDB and OSD, and O stands for OSD only. XSR receivers are the same for all FCs. Betaflight OSD is the same as well, but the choice of F3 and F4 processors matter as well as the presence of the Integrated Power Distribution Board with the additional current sensor. XSR F4O board is a good example of all-in-one solution without PDB but having regular shape that would fit any racing frame. It is based on the latest F4 MCU with 600 series IMU. Along with the full telemetry XSR receiver and Betaflight OSD, it also has SD card slot for black box, buzzer, LED and voltage sensor connections. Of course, it would require a separate PDB with 4 to 10 volts power supply to run. This new F4 MCU is capable of running up to 32 kHz loop time. XSR F4 PO is exactly the same board with the same features but additionally has integrated power distribution board capable of 6S LiPa battery and additional current sensor. Despite the excellent all-in-one solution, it has a significant drawback. Rectangular shape with the dimensions of 6 by 3.5 cm which would require some compatible frames. My 210 frames that have regular square shape would not be able to situate this board inside, only if to turn it 90 degrees and let it protrude from both sides to about 1 cm. This is not very safe and convenient for the future use. But I really like the idea of all-in-one board setup, because there would be less wires, soldering and weight, and it would be very neat. So I would definitely have to order some more suitable frames for such flight controller. And the last one is XSR F3PO, very similar to previous one but built on less capable F3 MCU with 6050 IMU that would allow 4 kHz loop time at most. But the rest of the features are common, say rectangular shape, XSR receiver, BFOSD, integrated PDB with current sensor and all other connections and possibilities. So seems that we have quite a family of flight controllers from FRSky now. This is only left to decide which one would be the most suitable for your build. I have all of them, with some actively used for about 4 months. No problems found up till now. So all of my copters are now being moved from modular solutions to the latest of our Sky Flight controllers, due to more convenient and faster assembly process, less total weight and very neat look. You can find the links to full reviews of all of our Sky Flight controllers in the description to this video. Stay tuned, more reviews to come.